Hello guys in this tutorial we are going to create this isometric island in render which is very fun and easy to make so let's get started so don't delete the default cube because we are working with that <laughs> and then add in a plane and scale it all the way up then with our cube selected bring it up and scale it down now go to render view set the render to cycles and just place our lights so with our light selected move that to y set its power to 10,000 yeah looks correct for now so select our cube go to materials and give it a base color of oceany blue i think <laughs> and then oh then Let's bump up our transmission value. Yeah. Let's change this color to more bright blue. I think it looks correct. So go to denoising and let's turn that on. And set that to your favorable denoiser. Go to materials. Yeah, the ocean looks correct. Now let's add in our island. So to add mesh landscape oh sorry for that you have to go to edit preferences and you have to turn on this and landscape add-on so with that selected just bring that up and move it a little bit scale on the y yeah and let's delete this excess part so delete vertices and let's go to render view camera view <laughs> looks fine so let's add our island trees but actually they were not trees I have just used grass as you know they cannot be noticed from this far away so let's add them and first go to edit mode and go to wireframe mode press 1 to go to front view and let's select the area where we want to scatter the grass select some random faces and then just go to vertex mode add in a vertex group and hit assign then go to object view <laughs> and then add in a particle system set that to here Set the hairline to 0 0.03, I guess. Yeah, or 0 0.04. Yeah, <laughs> nothing much difference. So go to children's, set that to interpolated, and to check the amount, set the display and render amount to same. For me, it's 100. Oh, first, let's select our vertex group and set the density, length, and clump to our vertex group. Yeah. So, go to hair shape and set the diameter to 0.3. Let's see. I think point two will work fine. Point two, and I think I should increase the number to three thousand. Don't worry, it will not affect your performance because I also have an amateur CPU. <laughs> so let's go to render view, and now let's add some materials. The material I'm using are from quixel mega scan you just have to create an epic games account and then use the whole library for free by the way you can find the materials i'm using link is in the description so let's select our mountain and assign it a thigh rippled or anything anything <laughs> i don't know so let's zoom in and go to edit view and press a to select all and go to uv's Smarty project 
and now I think it has fixed some issue then go to shading tab and yeah if you have downloaded the materials you have to unzip that but if you are using Clicksell Bridge you can just export it to blender just like me so set the skill to 0.1 Yeah, point one looks great. And now select uh, with the our mountain selected. Add in another material and set the material to uncut grass. And let's go to particle system under render. Set the material to uncut grass. And let's check what we have got. Yeah, set the children's. 200 yeah I think the numbers are too much so let's set that 200 I mean 1000 or 2000 I guess yeah 2000 also fine so I think the grass are scattering a bit much so let's decrease that so let's select go to front view mode and to vertex group delete this vertex group add in new and hit assign i think this should fix now now go to particle settings yeah now i think it should look great yeah okay so let's play with the size and let's move our camera so let's select the light and split our view vertical split here go to render view turn off overlay press T to hide these widgets now here go to solid view mode and let's play with the sun and now go to sun and increase its radius to 3 i guess not 3 i think 2 bam 2 looks great so let's select our cube and go to edit mode select the top face the select mode select the top face and go to materials add a new material Add the same material, hit assign and go to object mode and select this number thing I guess. Uh, what it does, it just makes it a single user. I'll explain in a minute. So go to shading tab, go to rendered view and where's our node Yeah. Now as you can remember we have assigned a new material on the top face so that it will affect the top face only i think now you have got that so add in a bump node we are adding some sea waves and a nice texture factor into the height and yeah now Increase the detail all the way up and set the scale to 10 I think is yeah 10 looks good let's increase its roughness yeah now it's looking pretty good now bring up the strength all the way up 0.5 yeah 0.5 looks good now with red silk another material and Let's just copy these two nodes. Control C to copy. Control V paste. Yeah. And add in the same. And let's just decrease its strength and increase the scale. So go to 0.5. And yeah. Now go to render settings and color management. 
and take the exposure and gamma values I think 0.5 looks great and for the gamma 1 looks great now go to look high contrast medium high contrast medium contrast I think medium high contrast looks great or <laughs> no media medium contrast works best and now just render it and that's it guys here we have our isometric island in render in just 10 minutes if you enjoyed this video hit that like button and consider subscribing have a nice day